Okay, this next one, I'm going to... I'm going to be very careful while showing this to you so I don't give away any information, but I'm going to show you the... give you a quick review of the mail application. This is the mail, and I've got it showing the uh, different accounts and such you can have. Um, I've got three set up. The one I use most often with my iPod Touch would be my iPod email, obviously. Um, that's what I'm fine with people knowing, just because I actually do want you to send your requests or, or certain questions or something to it. Or you can also do that to my YouTube PM box, but I never look at my PM box just because it's kind of lame. So, yeah. Uh, that one I don't mind showing you. This here is a refresh button, so that way it'll actually refresh your inboxes. See if I have any new mail at this time. I probably don't. Um, if I do, it'll make a little noise. It makes like a ding thing. All right, and this is your uh, compose button, and pretty much you can pretty much access the composing window anywhere in the mail application. Just click on it, and you can compose an email. Again, thanks to 3.0 software, you can do this in landscape. So you can type it to someone. Um, I will actually type in my iPod email away from here, so that way none of these suggestions pop up on video. Um, okay, so I'm sending it to myself. And you can give it a subject. We'll give it a, uh... You just type in a whatever subject you want to. I'll just type subject right there, and this will be your message. You can just go ahead and type in whatever you want to. And this little uh, signature down here can be a. Uh, you can change it in the settings, and then when you hit send, it plays a little noise confirming that it's been sent. If we refresh it, since I sent it to my iPod email hear that noise. Alright, I'm going to actually open the email off camera and I'm going to show you what it looks like when you're doing it. I will not be able to show you the inbox just because I don't want to give away any information, but this is what an email actually looks like. Oh, crap. Sorry, guys. If you saw a little cut there, it was because my full name actually showed up on the screen. So I decided to cut it out because I don't want you guys to know my full name. So, I've got those covered up, but right up there, it shows you what who sent it, uh, as well as who it was to, and it, it, like, if it's been a multiple email, if it was sent to multiple people, it'll display several names, and this is the actual email itself. It can be much more graphical, but there's really no graphics in here. You can also pinch to zoom in and out on your emails, which is pretty sweet. Okay, I've got to do this with caution, so that way I don't give away much information. And then, up here, we've got your inbox. Right here, you got your up and down, so you can navigate your emails. This is your compose new email button, so you can compose another email. This is your reply button, so you can reply or forward it to someone else. This is your delete button, so you can delete it. This is your move button, so you can move it to another folder. And this is your refresh button, so you can refresh the email. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete it, just because. Boo! And again, you probably saw a little cut there. Okay, so that was the mail application. It's kind of hard for me to show it to you discreetly without anybody knowing, catching my information. So, yeah. This next one, I actually have to open up an application that is called Hide My Secret because I actually have my secret hidden. Why? Because I don't want you guys to know who my contacts are. And I'm going to show you the interface thanks to this application. It's all going to be censored. All my contacts. So, this is the contact application interface. Um, what you have here, you've got your all contacts, and then you've got your groups and your plus button, which allows you to create new contacts. Um, here you've got your search bar, so you can search your contacts, and then in here you have your contacts. This thing up on the side actually allows you to browse by letter and uh, all that stuff. I'm not going to show you the process of creating a contact, so that way I can show you what a contact card looks like. This is the contact creating window. You can turn this landscape. Uh, so we're going to quickly just create a little contact here for demonstration purposes. We'll name him Betty. All right, so his first name will be Billy, and his last name will be Bob, just like so. And you can give him a company as well. So you can set first and last name. And then we can add a photo. I'll give him a... This smiley face right here. 
and we can crop it and whatever we want to just like that and now we can add a new phone number we're gonna go and give him the phone number one two three four five six seven eight nine zero zero alright and we'll make this his iPhone apparently they actually give you that suggestion alright now we're gonna go ahead and you can give him as many phone numbers as you want if he has multiple phone numbers like he probably does but uh... then you can go ahead and uh... key in as many phone numbers as you want here's your email we're gonna go and give him an email maybe billybob at yahoo.com or something like that billybob at yahoo.com and i don't know if you're catching this but the keyboards are actually changing depending on what i'm typing so when i actually typed in his name i had i used a different keyboard this is what the email keyboard looks like because it's got a bunch of email symbols on it and stuff like that and this is his URL and this one's actually different because it's got a bunch of URL options on it see now we got a dot com and that thing so let's just go ahead and say his website is bidabob.com I'm trying to type I'm typing this while looking through the camera which is really hard to do because I I actually did this uh, a review yesterday but I kept going off frame because I was paying attention to the wrong screen so that's why I'm not typing very good Okay, so you can add as many URLs as he has. You can also give him an address. You can do a street. He, um, you can give him a city, state, zip code in the United States or whatever state he might live in. And your, which address that is. Uh, and then you can go ahead and add even more fields, such as all of this stuff here that you see. I'll just go and scroll through them. I don't feel like going through them. But, this other stuff you can set. Uh, and then when you hit done, it'll open up his contact card for you which is really nice because now I don't have to uh, pull the, it away from the camera to show it to you so here's his contact card, we've got his iPhone we've got his home email we've got his URL, if I actually click that it'll actually open that URL in Safari I don't know what kind of website BillyBob.com is, if it even is a website so therefore I'm not going to click it you can also share the contact if you want to delete a contact you have to go under edit it'll kind of bring this back up and then you go down here to delete contact, you click it, hit delete contact, and it will delete it for you. And uh, in, if you saw another cut there, it's because it actually opened up my contacts, which is stupid. Okay, uh, so, oh sweet, I forgot to put that there. In the next video we're going to go over YouTube, stocks, maps, and weather.